Come here. Closer. Just between you and me. You're sitting in your underwear, aren't you? Ooh. All right, everybody, pop quiz. What's the only difference between Izzy and a 14-year-old boy? About 270 pounds. I haven't figured out how to use SketchUp yet, so I'm forced to go old school. <laughs> hey, crack me up. <laughs> anyway, hey, it's Friday fun day. We're going to do something fun today. If Some of you probably remember the drill-powered hand saws. Remember that? Check this out. I just broke the gearbox. Okay, so the way this thing works is real simple. You attach a drill right here to this metal rod. It turns in turns turning this flywheel here, and then you know it controls the in and out movement of this blade. And this just rides on a couple of half inch uh, metal rods with some bushings inside of there, and that kind of keeps everything nice and straight. Now to achieve that right angle gear movement, I just use an old right angle gear or a right angle uh, grinder. Just like this. I just pulled the guts out of it and I used that um, right angle gear inside of that grinder to make this and I just have this attached to a, a spoke or a, a bike spoke which fits right on there. Let me show you. I had uh, some skateboards bearings in there through this connecting rod because it was uh, a lot of friction. And then, uh, let me see if I can get this thing off of here now. So that's what we're moved back and forth on these two rods. And inside of here, I have just two uh, bronze bushings, top and bottom. That's why, you, so it gets a nice smooth movement along the track. And then there's that right, ang right angle gearbox, and I just used a bike uh, sprocket to attach it to because I could use the bolt for the 5 8 arbor or 7 8 arbor. And then just drilled some screws in here to hold it in place. And that's how this thing worked. That's how it operated. Well, I managed to strip those gears out finally. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun playing with this thing in the process. Lots of fun stuff going on here at Think Woodworks. we got some crazy stuff planned for you guys. Um, we're just trying to get set up. We're still trying to set up the shop, still trying to get caught up on orders, and we're almost there. I believe Monday we'll have everything caught up with. We still have a few things left here to do in the shop. So we've got some really fun, fun stuff planned. We're going to do a lot of wild furniture builds, stuff that many of you probably haven't seen before, some really cool techniques, lots of how-tos, lots of step-by-steps. And then, of course, the wild and wacky because that's what we do. Now, I think the way we're going to try and plan this out is on Fridays, I'm going to keep doing the jig builds like I was before, you know, as I can. And, um, you know, plans change with the family and everything, but we'll get back to some kind of somatic schedule as quickly as possible. The $50 wood shop is back. That's what this week was about, showing you everything you could do with the skill saw. Next week, we're going to build some pretty wild furniture with the skill saw and uh, some other fun stuff. Steve's going to be working on his videos here shortly. I think he's probably in a few, at least another week or two or three out. But as soon as he does, I'll put that link below, and you guys won't want to miss out. He's got lots of really good, valuable information for everybody, and I'm excited to see what he does and see what his style sort of ends up being with the videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Happy 4th of July. Be safe. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out my Facebook page.